Hey y'all, I am here to do a little bit of a flip through of my travel journal. So I um we just came back from a trip. Oh, I got real bad shadows because it is nighttime, y'all. Let me turn on the lamp too and see if that helps it. Um I don't know if that it looked like it helped it a little bit. But um <clears throat> Let's just stick it right there. We just came back from a little getaway for the weekend. Um, the plans that we had, they did not. Um, they didn't uh, pan out with because uh, we had a lot of stuff going on. And yeah, so we ended up not doing that, which was we were going to go to Hilton Head, but because of everything that was going on, we ended up not going to Hilton Head, and we just took a day trip, and we ended up staying overnight to, um, what do you call that place, Waco? Texas and then we went to San Antonio Texas just for a little getaway okay I'm sorry I'm moving stuff around here um, because I'm trying to get okay those these three I can put up here <sighs> uh, two rather no three so I'm moving stuff around here I have been making notes and stuff. Uh, this is my little to-do list book. I carry it around the house with me. And I put everything in here as far as to-do. And then I just go in and I mark that stuff off. And I visit it. It's kind of like a master to-do list, basically. I come in and I visit it um, often. Uh, wasn't as often as what it what I would have liked it to be but I've been really back on it now so I have been looking at it a lot more and checking out things that I need to check off and everything goes in there work um when I was in school school whatever everything goes in that little book it was I think it was two of them came in a pack off of Amazon I'm not even halfway through with the book but like I said I use it for a master to-do list and then I also jot this down and stuff in this thing and I just I have a Dollar Tree uh, memo pad in there so I use it to um, that's kind of like for more immediate stuff uh, if it's not in my planner if I don't put it in my planner um, either in the inbox or the master to-do list that's in my uh, planner then I usually have a sticky note or something like that memo pad or something that I jot stuff down on so this is my uh, travel journal you can see it's a bit thick and I love it that way and I have actually done a flip on it before but um, this is what I want in it so that's what that was 2024 so I was keeping this but I don't need a calendar in here all the time because it's sometimes just little small trips but I have an idea how I'm going to use it for now on because you know you're getting ready for the trip as well like on the 5th it says pack uh, this and wash day pack and on then we actually left this day. The wedding was this day. And we came back on this day. But all of the things that we're prepping for ahead of time, I can put that in here. So I am going to keep it. We just won't utilize it all the time. And I accidentally done two. I didn't realize it, but it's for the same month. But anyway, here 
I had this in my old one and I saw it and I was like, oh, I could still do that. So right here, I put where we went to if we done any traveling. So this is the first half of the year or some of the year. And then, and on this side, we went somewhere here. And all it is, is just a calendar and I just wrapped it around the monthly. So, yeah. And I, I'll just keep it there so that um, I can mark out when we do go places and stuff. We didn't get to go uh, too many places this year. I think we went, went more last year. But it's okay. You know, sometimes it be like that. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Maybe next year we can get some things settled that we're working on. Like right now we're working on the house and doing a lot of projects around the house and stuff next year maybe we can um uh do some traveling won't be too too you know expensive we might take one big trip and then a lot of small trips or something but yeah anyway okay back to it <clears throat> So this is my monthly, and then this is the yearly, and I've been marking out the yearlies as we've had whatever trips throughout the year. I know we're getting ready to do another one in December, me and the girls, but I don't know where yet. So <clears throat> that'll get marked then, and then I just have um, uh, this is a um, oh, pencil board that I stuck to um oh lordy that I stuck to a which you call this page protector and I cut the page protector down so that it would fit inside of here and then this right here is a actual piece of a I'm sorry I can't see that but it's a piece of a placemat from the Dollar Tree and it gives some structure to the um, no, a sheet protector here, so it kind of acts like a dashboard. And then these little ladies, I think these are from Red Lyrics. I think I'm not for sure though, but I think that's where they're from. But it's a little travel lady, I think it's several of them in here. The travel ones, did I? Wasn't one up here? No, yes. Here's one here. And I got them and I have them posted up different places in the planner. This one I have it stuck on. And this one I don't. She's just sitting in there. Um, <clears throat> that's a packing list guide. I do want to create my own. I have one that I started. It's in my actual main planner. And eventually I'll get it done. It's a, it's a checklist though to make sure that I have everything when I want to pack. Um, lately I've been trying to clean up out of my packing stuff. So I kind of have stuff everywhere right now. Uh, so I don't have everything that I usually take with me when I do pack. And I pack everything y'all. So yeah. So if anybody needs something, they know to come to me because I probably got it. And then this right here is just our budget. So this is ways to save. I got these from Michaels, I think, a long time ago. Um, yeah, this is what we spent on this last trip. And I went in, I saved as many of the receipts as a couple of receipts I did not have. But I just, like, this was a trip, this was a trip, and this was a trip. So I try and, you know, uh, write down what we're spending on those trips. And then um, this is just some planning here for a trip. Some stickers and a um, paper clip. And this folder came off of Amazon. Came off of Amazon and it came with uh, this folder. Um, I think the the plastic pocket and maybe a set of um, inserts. This one came off of Amazon as well. I forgot the name of it, but it is a name to it. Uh, Delusions uh, by Ranger. 
and it came in a pack of three. Um, this one is from, I believe, Foxy Fix. And let's see. I think it's Foxy Fix. Yes, Foxy Fix. And it has a lot of, it was sitting on something and it dyed it. But it's in, I mean, it's in good condition. It was never used. It was just sitting up against something. And it dyed it. The dye rubbed off. So that's what I don't like about um, these. I don't know what you call these. It's not, I don't know, PVC. I don't know what it is. But that's what I don't like about it. And then sandwiched in between it is the weekly that I created uh, from the, um, well, I modified, not created, modified from the um, Peanuts Planner Co. weekly. So, just say if we have a trip on, we leave on Tuesday, I could put, you know, the things that we're doing each day, the dinners that we had or whatever on those days, whatever the plans are for that day. And then in the back, I have a journal. And we journal about the day or whatever. Um, I could track things here. So this is supposed to be a tracker here. This is a Monday through Sunday. This is a Monday through Sunday. So it could be for whatever. And some to-do list. Another little blank something and then something here. So lots of space to put list of whatever it is that you want to add here uh, to um the week as you're prepping for it or when you're uh, actually on your trip you can use it as well as an itinerary there we go <clears throat> so i don't know how many i have of these in here but it's a pretty thick little booklet and i i just stapled them here and then this is another little pencil board. It's really, really thin, thin plastic. And I stuck a pocket on it. Another pen loop. Um, inside the pocket, it's um, a picture of me and my girlfriends. But it's uh, um, <laughs> uh, some little labels there. That I think they came from Hobie Beach. I'm not for sure. But some little washi tape that I keep there. I didn't even know this was here. So I need to keep that there so I can see it and put it away and then here's another one of those little girls and this one I laminated uh, you see she got a little puffy sleeves on her white her little hat <laughs> and camera camera uh, scrapbook paper here this right here is a uh, piece of a sheet protector too but it's the one that have the four uh, sleeves so I cut half of it and I sandwiched it around this one so I have a pocket here if I want to put something here and then I have this pocket here here is um, inside this book I usually look at the weather I look at the conversions if there is a conversion I put the travel itinerary in here, like what we're doing each day, um, food log, uh, photos, and ephemera. But destination facts is something that I want to do that's new, which is wherever we're going, especially if it's out of the country, uh, just uh, that first page, note something about that country. What is it that stands out about that country? What is their national dish? Or, you know, what are they known for? What was some history on that country? So that's what I want to start adding to uh, this. Uh, this is a little pocket here. But they really don't work well, y'all. I had one that worked really well, but the rest of them, they don't work well. So this was a trip to Mexico, and then I just printed out the forecast for that week um, that we we're going to be in Mexico. Here's the itinerary. No, this is the weather for um, <clears throat> that the 
the days and I marked down how was it. So this toe tells us what the weather is supposed to be like. This is where I marked down if it was like this one we had all day rain. This one we had extremely rainy on that day. And then I drew some little <laughs> dolphins and a little whale and a sailboat because I think the whales was um during this time. No, during November, I think in uh, Mexico, you can see the whales come out a lot. And then this is a packing list for Puerto Vallada uh, travel days. So the days that we are leaving, the days that we're returning and what the hotel check in and check out all of the information goes on this page but from <clears throat> this point on when we go somewhere like i said especially out of the country or something this first page will be dedicated to facts about whatever that country is that we're visiting uh before we go i love 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 before we go because I always say okay we have to water the plants we have to pay all the bills that are going to occur while we're out of town because I don't like to take the risk of the computer not working the internet being spice um, splotchy stuff like that so I always want to do that before we go uh, we clean out the fridge before we go just stuff like that so that's what a before we go is and I would like to actually create a checklist for that so we can just go down the checklist. Um, things to do while we're there, things to do, things to see. And then um, I, this was happened to be a page where I just kind of decorated it. And then I printed out some of the little pictures. I want to put another picture here and one here. But... I need to go through my pictures and decide what I'm going to fix. That is me and my husband. Uh, that's my husband. And these are my two sons. And then that is them there. That one is dark. But yeah, that's my husband in the middle. My oldest son uh, here and my youngest son. Uh, <clears throat> And that was a little while ago. Um, yeah. And then places to go and things to eat. So, and on this one, remember, we had things to do and things to see, places to go, things to eat. So if there was anything that we wanted to try as far as eating, that kind of stuff goes there. Things to buy. So any souvenirs, a list of people who we want to buy for. Or some people who may want something. I know like when someone went on went to Japan, I asked them to bring me back stationery. You know, stuff like that. So, uh, things to ask. Ask this. Uh, our room requests the floor. Pieces of free luggage. Room next to each other. Reservations for dinner. Long distance. Pesos versus dollars. Um, talking about Verizon. And the, the long distance on it. And then here is a conversion from U.S. dollars to pesos. And I print it right before we go. Because you know the rate changes and stuff. So I print it right before we go. So I, I know that if it does change, it'll be somewhere right around that. And uh, this is one of the places that I... We act is this the one? We actually did go on this one. It was so much fun, y'all. It was a, a ATV uh, terrain. We was up in the mountains driving the UTV. Well, they call it UTV, but like ATV. I don't know what it's called. It was so much fun. This is, um, um, what was this? Was it sunscreen? I want to say it was sunscreen. But you can see they used the dollar sign. We were at Walmart, so I know y'all can see with this Walmart. So I was like, 34 and 1. Why is this so high? Because they used the dollar sign. So I didn't know that they used the dollar sign. It is somebody else that uses the dollar sign too. Is it um Canada? Might be Canada. But anyway, it was so expensive and then I said and then uh whoever I was with they said but it's in pesos and I was like oh 
okay so anyway yeah so and i put it walmart sunscreen and pesos um that's our flight numbers there um this is the thing that we did go to this you see they call it ut utv um uh, that we did do uh this is a pencil board that i made which i want to find i think it's a seven millimeter i want the lines to be tinier so i can write tinier when i'm putting it behind the paper so i can write the write it tinier and then this is myrtle beach i'm not going to go through all of this y'all and it's again the weather is here packing list travel itinerary eats which i never filled out but i have a list of them you know and this was uh jamaica this is jamaica right here starting here uh and it's the best time to go to jamaica is from november to december you see jamaica facts and then uh i did because i some would skip in the days or it was just short so i put little short days november the 12th for these days november the 13th so yeah this one was a fun trip y'all because we rented out a villa and everybody had their own little villa uh, i think it was like 10 of them and we rented out every single one of them and it was so much fun y'all I need to print pictures and put here. And then this is when we went to Playa del Carmen for a wedding. And some facts about that was here. This again is the weather. Pesos again. Which, okay, it was 19 here. It was 17 on the other one. As far as to pay the conversion. Flight information. And then here is journaling. For each one of the days that we were there, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then this is some, no, maybe I didn't journal on Sunday. Well, these are some memories here. And these are pictures of all of us here. Okay, and then this is Girls Weekend. We went to Dallas and... I have some more journaling or pictures I want to put here. That's what that page is for. And then this one was another girls weekend. This one was in October. Then this one was in December. I need to print pictures and I put little notes so I remember what I wanted to journal about there. Yeah. And then this is my son's graduation. Uh, from college. It is his second degree. He is a nurse. Um, and then that's it as well. And then here is where me and my husband, now I wanted to use a different color pen, but then when I pulled the pen out, the, the pen was out of ink. It was, it was already out. So I ended up using the same fountain pen uh, that I used here. This was a different one, but this one wasn't. So, but I like to use them differently because, um, then I know I've went to a different, uh, travel point and I just keep using the same one until it's, I'm through with it. But this was this weekend, last, this past weekend, uh, the 20th, 21st. And then this is going to be my next one. So that's it. And then I have a few more in here. This is a little test page. And then this is my plan book. So whenever we are planning a trip, I put all my notes and stuff basically in here. Or on a sticky pad or something. Sticky notes. But I put that information in here as I'm planning it out. We pass it around to each other, whatever. Um, and then, oh, this was Austin weekend trip. Austin Lodge and we ended up not going to Austin but that was something that we were planning on doing and then back here this is a little pocket that's one of the little girls again and this is some more washi uh, uh, and then here 
is just some journaling. So I have some pages. This is okay. So this was our 20 year, 20 year anniversary, and I journaled here about. But then uh, I didn't journal there. And then here he was supposed to journal, and I was supposed to journal. And then they were supposed to journal, me and the boys, because we took the boys with us. And then uh, this was each day here. And this was a trip to, um, with the girls. And yeah, so I just journal. These are more longhand. I, I wasn't intending to journal in this one. It just kind of ended up being that way. But once I finish with this one, I will have a dedicated space for journaling like I do here. So, but yeah. And I have a few more on that one too. And when I finish with this one, my stylogy that's cut down will go in here uh, as the replacement to this one. Because I know I have it for a long time. And that's it right here on this airport right here is all of my reward numbers and stuff like that member numbers and stuff that's what that is back there so anyway that's it y'all this is oh this is a genicals journal and you can see she is plenty scratched up she has little freckles on her here and here and i love it um, in the pocket, I have some stickers. In the back here, I have some stickers. I have a mask. And then I have an extra string. Just stuck in there. And I pack this nearly everywhere that I go. Once I run out of either this one or this one, it will be one extra book. I just um, happen to have it in two places, and it's not supposed to be in two places. But it's a, it's actually one less book. So once um, that book is done, then it will be one less book. But I used the Moterm Companion. That one is excellent because it has a lot of pockets and stuff. But I like the feel of this one. Um, I like the sound of it and it's floppy so yeah and it scars up and stuff really easy so i like it and i like it. i like the stuffiness of it so but i have a big tote that i carry on the plane with me um and in the car so i just chunk it in there and i pull it out as we're on the plane and um uh driving to wherever we're driving to that's it, y'all. Oh, sorry, and I, I had y'all up close, so sorry about that. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.